Okay, this is not easy to talk about, but I got, I got actually people watching me right now. Some guy to my right is watching me. Uh, but I want to decipher the difference between um, enforcing the law and enforcing the norm, okay? There's, there's uh, the written law, all right, that uh, people uh, go into city councils or into committees, uh, the oversight committees, and they're the lawmakers. They write the laws and, and it, try to make things as fair as possible. Uh, but then there's also the norm enforcers who, uh, it's, it's uh, kind of like, it's, I don't want to, it's hard to compare to like, uh, you got normal, like for, sl for slang versus normal language. Okay, you got, you got slang and then you got normal language, like proper English uh, with the pronunciation, and there he goes. <laughs> He's taking off. He's just sitting there. Felt like he was watching me like a hawk for, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. <clears throat> um, but you have these you have these differences. Like I'm trying to compare uh, enforcing the norm to written law, comparing slang to, to uh, proper English. There's just, there's, there's the way to learn how to do it, but then, then there, once you learn in school, you learn about it in school textbook wise. And, and this, this is maybe learn a little history. This is how it's come to this and all that. But then, but then there's this, this, uh, this unspoken, these unspoken rules that, uh, are also enforced that, uh, cops, cops learn as part of their behavior on, on the streets. Okay. All right, and uh, in in some some cities are are more uh, uh, have have more of the norm enforcement than others, uh, and norm may be in, norm is going to be influenced by culture because culture is how people interact with each other and how things look around us and and just just all that. And there's there's a lot of different culture between the cities, just. In, in particular states and, and across the nation, just in the United States, there's a lot of different cultures and, and dialects and, and the way the things are done. Um, for example, in, in Wisconsin, you, you put your, your hand basket at the grocery stores in front of the cash register, whereas in California, you put it behind the cash register. It's just like little, little things like that. that if, if you are from Wisconsin and go to California and you put your basket in front, they already automatically uh, suspect you as being an outsider and suspicious. Outsiders are always going to be suspicious. So there's that norm enforcement. Now, legally, um, you could be parked. I'm parked legally, all right? But at nighttime, a night cops, uh, if, if this is a spot where people aren't normally parked at night... It doesn't matter if you're legally parked. A cop isn't going to just say, oh, he's, he looks like he's abiding the law. He's legally parked. No, he's going to be like, that car's out of place. One of these kids is not like the other. Standing out, cops in, investigate that. Uh, they're, they're, invest, they're, they're enforcing the norm. Okay, they've been working for years and years maybe on the force. They've, been, they, they've noticed patterns develop in the cities. Okay, and if anything falls out of pattern from one night to the next, then they're going to start questioning why that is and, and, and start asking, why aren't you normal? Why isn't this going normally like how the city has been? It, it, it may not be violating any laws, okay, like uh, in Rice Lake, Wisconsin, I was laying on the picnic table next to the library, for example, in the winter time, and I mean, that's perfectly legal, but... Uh, somebody called me in, um, guy laying on a picnic table, and cops had to identify me and all that. It was before I was uh, resistant about giving my ID, so I cooperated. He said, I was sitting on the table part. He said, sit on the seat. And I figure, okay, he needs me to, at a disadvantage in case I try to leap at him. That makes sense to me. I wasn't going to resist that. But then he said, you can't lay on that picnic table. In fact, you should probably get going. And I'm like... Well, I'm using the internet, and then he let that go at that. But he was trying to enforce a norm. Get out of here, you know. People people may call again. 
uh, in the winter time in Wisconsin, if you're in the park, it's unnatural. It's it's just not normal because it's so cold and nobody goes to the park to hang out unless you're homeless like me. But there's that norm enforcement that's just there. The cops can't really write a law for it, but they do use disorderly conduct as the overall general picture. They can't fit. There's nobody's really sat down and thought about laws against it so much in smaller towns, at least. So the cops just call it a disorderly conduct because uh, people just, you know, there's, there's gotta be some give and take. We, we don't want to be a completely prison culture. All right. <clears throat> and it happens in smaller towns and bigger towns because I've noticed that in bigger cities, cops can't, it's harder for cops in bigger cities to follow the norm, okay? Because things are so fluid. Uh, you just see, like in this city, there's just people all over the place. I, I can't, I, 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 don't, I don't recognize, I see new people all the time, new cars, they're just all over the place. Uh, but there are some norms, even in the bigger cities, they'll 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 put signs up in, in parking lots to say don't park here. So if you parked in the private area, or even if it's a public, if it could be the city hall parking lot, you don't want to be there at night. In any, no matter how big the city is, you don't want to be in the parking lot of the city hall at night. Um, the cops will be more likely to follow the the law in the bigger cities just because they can't fall back a norm because things are crazy, things are changing all the time. Uh, and and then uh, they'll fall back on just enforcing the law. All right, it's not so much the norms. Maybe every so often a norm will creep up, depending on how familiar they are with their district and all that. They'll see somebody, something out of place. The broken windows theory, which I don't know what to think of that, because people say it doesn't work. Some people say it does, but they'll uh, they'll investigate that and. Just say, hey, you know, if I see see a person, just say, hey, uh, there's uh, your shoelaces aren't tied. Let's see, let's see some ID. <laughs> you know, it's like things aren't normal. Um, he's trying to communicate that things don't seem normal. Doesn't know how to say it. Just say the grass is green. Whatever. Let's see some ID. Just just to harass them. You see that in that t TV show, Cops, all the time. But uh, that doesn't happen. It's not as easy to do in the bigger cities, but it is. They're getting away with it, of course. But in smaller cities, you're going to see it a little bit more. You'll see more neighbors calling on each other um, and getting the cops involved. Neighbors can follow uh, what seems to be normal. If I'm parked, like, for example, if I'm parked in Hiram, parked in that parking lot, legally, I was in the spaces and everything, but uh, I was parked there too long, and there's kids nearby. That was the reason. Excuse me, sir, there's kids nearby. I'm going to need to see some ID or you're going to jail. It's simple things like that. Uh, it's not exactly forcing a law. It's forcing the norm. And that's the unwritten rules that you see in, in, as a part of the culture of the area. All right. Uh, I, I really, I, I, every time I go to a new city, new town, I, 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 I try to follow what's going on in, in the city and town. Um, and I, I just don't park anywhere overnight when I'm, when I want to sleep. Okay. I, I try to see like where there's, where, where there's going to be like a, maybe a congregation of cars or something, try to fit in with them. Uh, because if I stand out, if I park just somewhere where it's just nobody's parked and it's just questionable, I don't know the law exactly for the city. I tend not to, uh, I'll stand out and that'll put me at, uh, you know, vulnerable, make me vulnerable to getting harassed if for the, by norm enforcement. I could be perfectly legally parked. Okay. So there's, there's those differences. I don't know if that's clearly explained or a lot. Uh, leave it in the comments if it's clearly explained or not, or if you got examples of your own.